Hi guys, Julia from Accessorize Your Life. It is time to shop my stash for the month of October and I'm ready to do so. I'm ready to pull out some of those fallish kind of grungy colors, more uh, intense with the various shades of green, gold, copper, burgundy, plum, purple, and black. Yeah, those things are calling my name. As a matter of fact, fall was calling last month for September, and you saw what I used, but I want to mention that I did use the Violet Foss palette for this look today, and I stayed down at the bottom of the palette on the side that I wanted to play in more, right in here with these berry colors. I worked right across here, and I gotta say, all of, I think I used all of these colors on the bottom, yeah. And then I went up here for under my eyebrows and around in this area for the inner corner. So really nice palette. I'm glad I have it in my collection and it's not going anywhere as I've said before. Now, as far as foundation and primer, the primer was Pat McGrath that I used today. Wanted to show you the finish I get when I use these two together and nothing else. No powder un under the foundation or over the primer. I use Pat McGrath here, and it is a little red on me, but I'm trying to give it a little more time. I know it's not her formula, it's just basically the fact that I have aging skin. Also, um, I, I picked out the color that's a little too red for me. Also, I have on the Pat McGrath setting powder, I just have it, I use it almost like a um, contour in here and around in here. So, and on my nose a little. And then for its lips, I used her Fuchsia um, liquid lipstick, and then I topped it with a little bit of Pixie right in the middle. So yeah, I basically used what was in my shop, my stash, for the month of September to get this look, which I think is definitely um, fall calling, and I answered it with these products. So let's shop my stash for some grungy, fun stuff for the month of October. Okay, I'm at the bottom of my Alex drawers and I have uh, all sorts of goodies down here. But I think I want to start with um, some old, old stuff and see if it warrants keeping any longer. So I'm going to look for contours and I have my hand on one that I know is older than the heels. This is the Tarte Tardiest Contour Palette. And this is what it looks like. You can see I've panned a couple of those there, that darkest shade and the one above it. So we're gonna pull that as a contour palette. I think I should pull one more. That's a cream, no, that's not what I want. Mac, no, these two should be together because they're kind of similar. That's a bronzer by Kat Von D. Bronzer by Kylie. Let's put those all together over here so they won't fit. What is this? Iman, I just put this back in. Highlighter. Okay, let's pull the Believe Beauty. This is a um, Get Glowing Highlight and Contour Palette. So it's a trio of um, those items, so we'll use that. It's old and we need to do something about it. Try to make some lead way down here cut out some of this nonsense, get rid of some of this stuff that's old. I am looking at a palette right now that I'm going to pull, and it is, let me see what's down here. Okay, it is the Royal Affairs. This is by BH Cosmetics, and that is what it looks like. I think I can make these look kind of grungy and nice and fallish with these green shades here. There's three green shades, some browns, some taupey browns, silver, and uh, yeah, this will work. So we're going to pull that, and I've had it a while in my collection, so we need to play with it. Also, let's look for maybe a compact foundation. Black up. Hmm. Let's see what that looks like. Do we want to pull this? Can we get in it? Well, yeah, this is the right way. That's what it looks like. It's a powder. Yeah, let's pull that. And I want to do one more. Not meant to, that's a loose powder, loose powder, a glowing powder. Let's pull, okay, 
let's pull black opal true color I have this in 420 nutmeg and what was the black up the black up is TW 13 it's a two-way cake mm hmm yeah those are both oldies so we'll see how they work out for us let's put this over here if it'll fit no it won't oh okay let's pull this this is Becca this is by this was a um, yeah a sale item I saw at the cosmetic company and it was a collaboration with Chloe and Malika it's from Becca and they had it for about five dollars and can't show you what it looks like with that cushion over it but it's some of those little X's and O's it's your highlighter so that should be fun to use I've never used any of those before so that'll be new just to play around with a little bit not everything has to be old right right I know you're saying that I know you're saying that okay guys do I need a liquid foundation or should I just let it we'll let it go with that yeah we're just gonna let it go so let's pull out another drawer here definitely gonna pull the one I just got in my collection the uh, festival by Juvia's place because that definitely is supposed to be a seasonal palette even though I feel like you can wear it any time of the year but Juvia's place sent it in their Halloween mystery box so in it goes that's the palette and um, I'm not gonna do any more Juvia place I think we're gonna do we have that one in you know I'm looking at palettes that would be good grungy palettes for the month and I'm thinking that black magic one was a good one by Uma Beauty yeah that would not be a good one but I'm not gonna pull it no kisses oh hugs and oh let's see do I ever I know I pull some of these but do I ever actually do a look with them I'm wondering for you guys like the um, Kat Von D. I don't think I ever did a look with this. I pulled it, but I never got around to doing a look with it. It has a nice purple, blues, and reds. I don't know. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? And then here's another one. Here's an Urban Decay one that I had thought about pulling before, and I never did pull it. Can I get this one open? It'd be so hard to open this I always have that problem with this palette now this is definitely a grungy palette to me yeah let's pull it we'll put the Kat Von D back even though she is definitely got that vibe going on and let's see anything else that is calling me you know what since we pulled some of the Believe Beauty. Let's take a look at some of these palettes because I need to decide what to do with it. How interesting does this one look? This one is called Golden Disco and then we have this kind of plush purple one and then we have the blue one which is Into the Blue and then we have this berry one which is Nearly Nude it's more brown, not berry, excuse me. That won't do. The blue one won't do. So if I have to pick one of these, I'm gonna go with this sparkly one. I'm going to go with Golden Disco. Keep putting it the wrong way. Yeah, right here. Lots of glitter and the gold in there. So that's four palettes already. And I have one coming that I definitely want to have the liberty to put into my um, stash when it comes, or my my stash, put into my makeup caddy when it comes, or tray. I'm looking at these little bite size um, palettes by Elf, and I think I'm going to pass on those right now. Um, oh, Shade and Light by Kat Von D. Now this is a nice dark palette. Your gray, your black, your tan. I should try to get a look out of that. Let's pull that too. 
and I'm still not satisfied. I still want more and more and more. I still want more. I still want to pull more. I've got a, a little koja here, but it's chocolate. It's in Dahlia. Hmm, nope, not pulling that. Okay, I think we're going to be okay right now. We're going to leave it at that because I do have another palette coming. And we don't have that much time since I'm late pulling everything. So we're going to leave it right there. We're going to just stop it right there. Next, we have Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in... This one is 85. Let's pull this one. It's a deep color, and I'm looking for those deep colors for the month. So that's what this one is looking like. We're kind of out of focus, aren't we? Let me get us in focus. It's like brought us up a little closer. Okay, that's what it's looking like, and it is Maybelline Superstay. We're pulling that. And did I have another one of those vampy looks? Oh, we do want to pull the Juvia's Place that came in my box, that black. Let's pull it. And um, the other one. Should we pull an orange by Juvia's Place? Hmm. Let's pull one of these. One of these oranges by Juvia's Place. Trying to find. Let's see. This one is more of a reddish orange. This one is an orange orange. Let's put it over here. Let's see. This is the time to use it. Ooh, likey, likey. That's pretty. Yeah, let's pull those. Three. Okay, that's enough for out of there. Oh, do I need a pencil? I think I have a dark pencil over there. What's this one by? Pat McGrath Labs. I'll just pull that one. Um, I have some Nick pencils. Let's use this one that's old. This is a MAC pencil and it's down to the last bit of it. I think it's, I don't even want to say what it is, but we'll find out later at some point throughout the month. And I have a Shea Moisture pencil that's down near the end, so I think I should go ahead and pull that. It's in brown as well. I don't think I have an orange pencil or deep orange to go with anything. So we're going to let that ride. Yeah, we don't have any more pencils that are deep enough. Okay, so I think... You know what? We didn't pull a gloss. We did not pull a gloss. I like this purple too. This one by NYX. It's the powder puff. This is good too. But I already have. Did I have? No, I have that deep. I don't know. Let's pull it. You've seen it before, but I like it. Okay. Alrighty, so now we need to find definitely a new mascara because the one I've been using is um, old. And also I decluttered it because I had an eye infection. So let's go with this one. I think it's pretty dried out. It's the Snapscara and it's in purple by Maybelline. We're going to hit this up anyway. We're going to see if there's anything left in it. And then... Ooh, this has an interesting shape. This is the Lash Renegade by Wet n Wild. I like that for the month. It has that, uh, can you see it there? Am I getting in focus? Here we are. It has a nice little shape to it. I like that. So we're going to use that. As far as mascara, we do need another one of these. I decluttered the other one. So this is the Tame and Define by Wet n Wild. It's the Mega Clear Transparent uh, Gel that I use for my brows and my eyelashes. And uh, what are these brow pencils? I really don't use the pencils right now. I'm using a powder. So I'm going to not pull anything there. Okay, we've got something here. Remember, we got this in the Juvia's Place box. It's that beautiful blue. So we're, we're going to use that. And then these are eyeliners I'm talking about. We have this green. 
This is from Wet n Wild. It's the Color Icon Multi Stick. Let's pull that. Ooh, I got a lot of liners in here that need to be used. Th those two are new. I need to pull an old one out. What is this? Oh, Salon Perfect. That's for the corrals, I think. Mm -hmm -hmm. Hmm. That's a blue. I already have a blue out. Let's pull something old. Something old. Aqua liner from Makeup Forever. That may be too old. I need to declutter that for sure. Got a lot of these liners. Okay, let's pull Batter Up. And this is, um, it says Prime for Extra Innings. Huh, that's cute. What color is this one? I don't see a color, but I like it. It's kind of like a purple. So let's pull that. Let's pull the green and let's do a Bobbi Brown, but I got to get the right shade of Bobbi Brown. Midnight may be too dark. Mm, let's pull Laura Geller's. Nope. I've got some liners at the, in my tray already. So I think we're going to pull the Bobbi Brown, and this one is in Golden Bronze. Let's pull that. Okay, next we're going to go on over to... Oh, we have to pull this highlighters, because we have to pull the Hair and Glow 2 that I got in the mystery box. So that's being pulled. And do we need a blush? We have the blush in that Tarte palette, and then we have a blush in the Believe Beauty. Do we need another blush? We'll never get through anything if we pull too much stuff. Milk. Let's just let it go at that. Or, or, we never can let it go at that, can we? We never can let it go. We just had out Bella, I think. Yeah, we had this one out. Here's Seraphina, which is a little lighter. Let's go ahead and pull that. Okay, the next drawer is here. And um, primers. Primers, primers, primers. And concealers. Definitely primers. Let's go with the Tarte primer. Here that is. Let's use that. And let's use, that's it. Let's just use that. Okay, we're going into my newbie bag and we're going to pull out some goodies. So I did pick up two palettes and they are the Patricia Bright palettes. I got the um, Rich in Life and the Rich in Color palette. Rich in color, rich in life. I don't know if I want to put either one of those right now. Whew. Decisions, decisions. Oh, this is the nail color I'm wearing right now. That was the new uh, color I'm wearing, if you can see it there. We'll move it down here. I use the Sensational LED lamp light and nail color. So that, I don't know why I had that in there, but that's that. Oh, I did pick up a new Morphe set. Is that Morphe there? Yeah, I pick up, picked up the pencil in, what is it, something tea? What did I pick up? Sweet tea. So I have a new Morphe pencil in sweet tea and the gloss in sweet tea as well. So those are new to me. I'm going to use those. I picked up, and I'm not going to use this yet, but I picked up the P. Louise base number five and I am going to use I also picked up Danessa Myrick's the color fix mattes and I got one in desert rose do I need that this month I'll save that for next month <laughs> but I am going to use this lipstick it's called Viva Violet so 
That is by Revlon. I found that in Walmart and I also found the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer in 415 Honey at Walmart. So I'm going to use that. And I do have some more Murad. This is what I use to um, control my oil. It's a mattifier and it's a SPF of 45. So it's acne control and it's more or less a uh, primer for me sometimes or when I don't wear makeup I just put this all over my face so um, I may pull it because I think I'm at the end of the one I have so now the question what do we do with these two palettes now that we have all those palettes I'm excited to use them but I have enough so we'll put them away we'll probably pull them another time but we will pull these items here and I'll show you what this looks like. This is, I think, a sweet tea that I said. Oh, nice neutral for me. There it is, right there. And again, that one is sweet tea. And the liner is going to be right here. It's about the same shade. There it is. It'll look nice with this. And this one is shrink wrapped. I don't know if I can get it open in time, but let's let's try. Let's try. This is from L'Oreal. I don't need any more lippies. Why am I buying? No, it's Revlon. Why am I buying so many lippies when I'm wearing a mask? I'm just drawn to them. Look at that saturation of color. It's almost like the other one I pull. But it's not. I see a difference. It's vampy, yes. There it is. Here it is. Very vampy. Nice. And uh, did we pull, did we play around with the other colors that I pulled? At the orange. We didn't use this one. I'm dropping things. We didn't use this one. Let's put that one there. It's a little lighter. So this is the powder puff, this is the Revlon, and then this one is, what is that one? That one is by, we didn't do the dubious place. Who is that one by? That got it? I don't even see it up here. Heck, I don't know what I did with it. Probably fallen on the floor by now, but those are the lippies. Did it really? Yeah, why do you want to play me like that? Why do you want to do me like that? Yeah, I don't see that one. Oh, here it is. It's right in front of me. It's the Color Stay by Ma uh, Maybelline. The matte ink stick. So that's that one right there. So, and you know what? One, two, three. Three mattes and two kind of uh, satiny colors. Yeah. That Morphe is a matte. Juvia's Place is a matte. Both of those are mattes. That one's a matte too. So four mattes in one satiny color. You can see them. Okay guys, I am totally excited to use these grungy looks that I pulled for the month of October. Ugh, look for it to come. But you know, before I do any of that, I have to get through the birthstone vibe look. And this month is the opal, is the stone, and the palette is from BH Cosmetics, and I'm looking forward to using it. The lippy I will be using will be from Wet n Wild, so you look forward to seeing that. I am excited about this palette because, as you know, I don't open up any of the palettes until I come on here to show you what it looks like and it's all shrink wrapped or wrapped is how it comes to me and then we open it together and I create a look right there on the spot so um, I'm excited to put the creative juices to work and come up with a look that is fabulous for all of the October babes alrighty I think I'm ready to say so long and I'll see you next week with that video I hope you all stay well take care of yourself and take care of others bye bye for now ha ha there we are a neutral a orange a deep kind of plum vampy look a lighter plum a light or like a violet and then the black those are the colors for the month for my lips yeah excited about that